welcome to another episode of Will It Work? Today we've got the Nintendo DSi XL, uh, which is the um, larger screen of the DSi. Uh, I can't even remember what the I stands for anymore. <laughs> you know, because at first it was the Nintendo DS, and you got the DS Lite, and then there's the DSi and the DSi XL, or I don't know. Uh, I'll have to look it up. Well, but one thing is, I've had this one, but I don't. I, don't th I think I moved on to 3DS pretty quickly, and I I, I use this one. Um, I have other ones too, but I use this one infrequently, and uh, I will cover the other DSs I have as I get to them. Uh, since I, they're all a little bit different in some way. Um, so they're, they're worth collecting unlike a lot of clone systems. Uh, this one comes with three pre-installed titles, Brain Age, uh, Brain Age uh, Math, and Arts and Letters, and a Photo Clock. Um, to be honest, I never even paid any attention to that. I got this, I was like, oh yeah, it's a DSi XL. I may or may not even have used it. I might have just put it in with the game collection. So... Uh, let's take a look at it here. It's kind of like an unboxing video or something. Uh, you've got your manual that nobody reads. It's a pretty good size manual. I mean, what's going on there? What's all this about? Really? I mean, it must be in like 15 different languages or something. I, I don't know why it would be that big. Kind of crazy. And then, uh, yeah, so we have the power and the unit. Yeah, definitely have used this, though. I can see, like, the spots on it and things that I've used in the past with it. I'm sure that the battery's dead. And it looks like this might have held, like, a stylus. It's not there now. Uh, so I definitely used it. Uh, but let's plug it in. And I do have a game here we can check out. As well as we can take a look at the base unit itself. Right, and there we go, plugged in. Okay, so from the outside, uh, there's a camera here, and uh, you know, looks like the battery might be removable or replaceable, which is good. Uh, we have the stylus here, it's a little bit longer than the first DS ones, but Nah, it's still not comfortable for me to use, but I mean, in a pinch, it'll do. Headphone jack, um, volume rocker, cartridge port, uh, memory card port, which is populated. I did leave a memory card in there. And is that just for venting? Venting, or probably some sort of clip. Okay. So let me open it up. And we got the usual two screens, power button, four buttons here, start and select, and we got two triggers on top, forward facing camera, two speakers. So I mean overall, it's got a pretty good uh space here. Let's see if I can turn the volume up. Yeah, so the volume's a little bit loud. We had this camera here. You could take a picture of something. And then, uh, let's see what I have on here. Mahjong, Cosmigo, Brain Age. There's the Brain Age. Photo Clock. Date or Ditch by Gameloft. Hmm. Internet Nintendo. I'm sure the I, the, the, the I probably dealt with the fact that this was connected to the internet. Flipnote Studio. There's a browser. Pick the chat. Start. Probably some stuff that I would use to like use this when I was reviewing games. Um, back in the day. But really nothing substantial on here. So why don't we um, put in a game. I have uh, Final Fantasy Tactics A2. Oh, 
Or I could play that dating game that's on here. That might be fun. <laughs> Whatever that is. Uh, okay. And I do like that I could just put a cartridge, take a cartridge in and out, and it didn't nag me. Uh, so many games nag when you do that. Can't see me. I'm behind the camera. See? Ooh, can't see me. I'll try to get a flat screen here as well as I can. It always seemed weird to me that uh, they um, just didn't use one big screen like the Vita did or whatever. You know, that Nintendo always had this double screen with one being a touch screen and the other one not. And I, I know really, you know, it was more for, it wasn't for all the compact size and all that sort of stuff. It's just a money saving thing, which is Nintendo's good at. I mean, they're good at making things cheap. So they can sell them cheaper uh, as they get older and still make money on it, you know? Um, boy, I haven't played this in a long time. And, um, you know, we got Wi-Fi, power getting charged, as well as the power is on, little lights. You know, it's well made. It's a well-made device. Plays good games. I mean, what you know... And the 3DS just sort of follows after it. So, you know, 3DS being just as compatible. And, um, except that you have the, you know, that sort of 3D view. And then eventually they sort of made the 3DS have, um, a second analog stick. Although I don't know how well that support was for that. Um, you know, but it did have a first analog stick, which this does not have, uh, as well. So, you know, evolution, evolution of systems. But as we can see, this one uh, does work, and I'm not going to play a full game of this or anything, because that would be silly. I'm not even really reading what it's saying. I'm just kind of scrolling through it. But um, yeah, overall, the Nintendo DSi was a quality piece of kit. Uh, the XL version here, a uh, lot of good games out for this, and you can get, you know, multi-carts now. Uh, that'll work on uh, the DS. I don't. I don't know if they have one for the 3DS yet. I haven't broken into that one yet, but I know that you can get multi carts and download games off the internet for the uh, for the DS model. Um, if you're a cheap guy and just want to play some games, but uh, you know, other than that, though, I mean, you can find most games fairly inexpensively on uh, eBay or you know, just find them on stores and stuff. So, um, you know. I don't know if that's like the last edition of the DS before it went to the um, 3DS, but it's probably one of the last, and it's probably the nicest um, version of the, just the standard DS that there is. You know, it's just uh, fairly flat. Uh, it's not too heavy. Um, it's a little big, but I'm a big guy, so for me, there's no problem. Uh, you know, and battery life was really great with this. It's just an all-around good little, little handheld system, so... Um, that's the uh, Nintendo DSi XL, and uh, we'll move on to the next one. Thanks for watching.